running. And a pretty good break too, with Green Line Express, one of the first to show, Shavian on the near side. So man's not far off the pace, then call to arms. And then comes Lord Charmer. So as they settle down, Steve go, makes it a catch me if you can race with Shavian going to the front as he did at Ascot from Green Line Express as they race down from the top of the hill. Zoman in third, then comes Court of Arms and Lord Charmer in great commotion and distant relative as the back marker and Shavian has a three length advantage now as they race towards the half mile pole in the Sussex Stakes from Green Line Express in second. Call to Arms on the outside of the white faced Zoman, then comes Lord Charmer, great promotion and distant relative swinging into the straight now. And Shavian, the leader from Green Line Express in second, Call to Arms third. Zoman trying to get into it. Great commotion making a run from the rear. Lord Charmer just in behind him, distant relative over on the far rail. But still, Shavian from Green Line Express and Zoman as they hit the two furlong pole. Green Line Express and Cash Asmussen in the center on the far side is Shavian. Distant relatives putting in a run over on the far side too. They're racing into the final furlong now. On the near side is Green Line Express on the far side. Distant relative is getting up. And Distant relative looks as though he's going to win it. Distant relative strides away to win it as they race to the line. Distant relative has won it. Green Line Express is second and third is Shavian. Four, five and six with great commotion. Zoman and Lord Charmer and last was the 66 to one outsider. Call to arms and so the result of the Sussex Stakes. First number one, Distant Relative owned by Mr. Wafik Saeed, trained by Barry Hills and written by Willie Carson. Second was number three, Green Light Express owned by Ekyoi Fustok, trained by Mohammed Mubarak and written by Cash Asmussen. And third was number six, the horse who tried to make it all, Shavian, owned by Lord Howard of Walden, trained by Henry Cecil and written by Steve Cawthon. Fourth was number two, Great Commotion. So Distant Relative comes from near last to first to win the 132,750 Sussex Stakes. Here's how he did it. Yes, it was a genuine last to first. There he is on the inside, having missed the break, seemed to be struggling early on. He's in the inside of Pat Edry on great commotion, and it didn't look as though his situation was very promising, because up front, Shavian was keeping up the gallop. Cash Asmussen was breathing down his neck on Green Line Express. Zoman and Call for Arms close behind them. But Willie takes the bold route. He decides to go up the rails. He decided that going round the field would be asking too severe a question. So he's hoped for a break. He's gone up the inside of Lord Charmer there. And now Kelly pull back the front ones because the gallop still continues. Cash Asmussen looked to say he was going marginally better than Steve Cawthon here. In fact, Steve is the first one to go for his whip. But now Cash goes for his whip as well, and nothing, not a great deal happens immediately. Meanwhile, Willie, continuing his ambitious run up the inside, gets that dream run that he's been looking for, gets up the inside of Steve Cawthon, asks his mount to quicken, and although his mount's obviously hating the ground and came back at him just for a moment there, there's never been any doubt about his courage. He loves his track, and he's stormed into the lead. Javian runs on well, but look how Green Line Express suddenly gets his second wind as Cash pulls his stick through to his left hand in the last 150 yards of the race, and he finishes really well. He looked to say he wouldn't even have second place in 150 yards out, but at the line, he's closed it to almost three parts of a length. He's clearly second, Javian third, but distant relative has won the Sussex Stakes at 4-1. Yes, and only a man in spectacular form as Willie Carson is could have won that race. His first Sussex, incidentally, for Willie is now on the 122 mark for the season.